Bang goes the theory, putting science to the test. Infrared is invisible to human beings, except if you've got one of these cameras. Now I can see. This is tuned to the infrared spectrum and clearly shows it coming off the crew and me. The heat of my body causes me to radiate infrared waves the entire time, but I'm nothing special. Anything with a temperature above absolute zero is always emitting infrared. You've seen how we collected power from invisible microwaves being beamed through the air. Now imagine the potential of being able to farm electricity directly from all this infrared. But infrared waves are tiny, less than a hundredth of a millimetre long, and no one has been able to build an antenna that small until now. I've arranged to meet the man who's built the world's first large-scale infrared antenna. His name is Steve Novak. The technology is so new that there are only two prototypes in existence. It's one of the most exciting pieces of technology I've ever heard of. This could actually change the world. And he's bought the antenna from his labs in Idaho to show me. Hi, Stephen. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks so much for coming. So, uh, can we have a look at it? Oh, absolutely. Is it this sheet of plastic? That's right. Okay. Let's roll it. And that's the infrared antenna. That's correct. If it's not like I imagined it looking, but I guess... There's more to it than first meets the eye. This is essentially a miniaturized version of our array of microwave antennas. Each one of these four inch squares holds about 260 million antennas. So the three by six has about four billion. Antennas. Four billion antennas on here. And they're all like of the right length for collecting infrared waves and turning them straight to electricity. That's correct. Wow. These antennas are so efficient that they can point in almost any direction and still collect infrared energy from the sun. And what about on a cloudy day like this? Well, if you collect the right wavelengths, the infrared should get through the clouds and should have no problem there. So you can pretty much get as much on a cloudy day as a sunny day? That's correct. Oh, this stuff's better than I thought. What's more, these panels can what also collect the, the infrared question? given off by the Earth as, well. as it cools Better at night. Well. Solar panels that work at night? Those work at night. Incredibly, the Earth emits so much infrared at night that a one square meter panel of Stephen's antennas could light several light bulbs. I want to know when this is actually going to become viable, when's it going to hit the shops? Stephen reckoned five to ten years, I mean frighteningly close. They've, they've nailed the antennas now, they have got infrared antennas. They're just working on the electronic processing to make the electricity okay for domestic use. God, fantastic.